Hi everyone, Jean here. Welcome back to the craft room. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely Easter um, and not eaten too much chocolate. Uh, we had a really nice Easter. We had family come over from Lancashire, our daughter and future son-in-law and grandson. And we had a lovely egg hunt, <laughs> Easter egg hunt. And uh, it was fantastic. It was lovely to see him. Right, so what I'm coming on to show you is these... Um, ATC coin holders. Um, now I saw these on YouTube and oh I can't remember what they call the lady who did it. I'm ever so sorry. Um, if I can find it later on I'll, I'll pop it on because she's a lovely lady and uh, and when I saw them I thought oh that's fantastic for putting your um, coins in. So this is the first one. I'll start with this one because I've decorated this one. And what you do, you open it up like that, and it's three pockets. And you decorate your ATCs, uh, coins, and right on the back, this is a set of three. Uh, and who it's by, and the date it was done, and what number it is of the set. So that's the first one. I'll pop that back in. And then this is the second one. And this set is called um, Getaway. So whether it be out for the night, or on your holidays, on your jollies, whether it be abroad or in England, staying at home, just to enjoy. And of course we have late nights, don't we? <laughs> right, so I'm going to show you how to make this. So it folds up lovely. And I mean, you could use this for gift tags or anything really. You don't have to keep it for... Uh, uh, ATC coins and then it just fastens with velcro and it makes a nice little gift. Now I've done another one in a pink. I've put the coins in but I haven't decorated so I think we'll do a little giveaway at the end of this and uh, you can have a go if, no, if nobody's ever done it before you can have a go at um, decorating your ATC coin. And just decorate them exactly how you want to do them and just enjoy it. So, here we go. First of all, we need a 12 by 12 piece of card. Now, if you've got a directional pattern, just be careful uh, how the pattern lays. Uh, because you don't want it going that way. You want it going that way. So, we have a 12 by 12 and the first thing we have to do is... Um, Mark it at four inch and cut the rest off. So I've got my big guillotine here. And I'll bring it in. And I'll bring it, push it into here. Not much space on my desk with this camera, but anyway, hopefully when I move, I'll have one overhead. So I'll put it into the four inch mark. I think I'm doing this right. Let's go at four inch and cut off, yeah go and we put that to one side and what we're left with is this piece here now we're going to start from the short short side and we're going to score down at two and a half so that's two and a half am I in shot yet two and a half right down to the bottom and five and a half that's that and then we're going to turn it to the long side and score at two inch and two and a quarter this is to make a little spine so that when you when your box folds up you've got this little spine here to allow for you doing your embellishments um, where are we? Two and a quarter, five and a half. And five and three quarters. And then eight and three quarters. Now I'm going to have to mark this because I haven't got this on mine. Uh, I haven't got my um, scoring bar doesn't go up to that. So it's eight and three quarters. Let's have a look. And we'll just mark it with a little pen. 
eight and three quarters is there and then it's um, a nine so we end up with three of these of, of these little um, these these little uh, I can't remember the word <laughs> oh dear whatever <laughs> so I'm going to put these in now and score like this spine that's the word I'm looking for that's there and then that's the next one go now if you see here we've got a narrow um, square at the top and we've got a broad one at the bottom now this one always goes to the bottom right now what we do we have to we have to cut some off so um, let me think what I'm doing I can't remember let me open it up and have a look <laughs> it's a few days since I've made it so <laughs> oh, that's come undone, but anyway, never mind. Uh, we'll stick it together again. Right, so then, we have to, oh, I know what we do next, yeah. We cut down these little spines, and we cut them to the, right to that scoring line, what we've come down from the top, cut right into there, and we cut that off. You can neaten these up when they come a bit further along. So cut all, all three at both sides. And trim them off. Ever I enjoy doing these. A nice little project. But I do feel it's fair to give the person who's uh, popped it on the recognition. So as I say, if I can find it, I will add a note as to who that lady is. And you can go along, pop along and look at her channel. Come on. Ooh, got a bit winky wonky there, Jean. We've finally got our buyer's surveyor come in, but it's not well the 7th of May, which is a fortnight away. Um, they don't rush themselves, do they, these uh, surveyors? I'm going to put a little bit more off that. I've just not quite gone onto the line. That's it. So we're moving along nicely with the selling of our house at last. The next thing is we've got to go up to Lancashire because we've we've sent our surveyor in and we've got to go up to Lancashire to look for a rented. So we're going into rented for um, until the bungalow's done. Can't be living in it when it's going to be knocked about and done. Right, now then, what we do now, so look, turn it round, make sure your um, larger square is at the bottom. So now we've got to cut some off. So we cut, have a look, we cut this off, this top one here, cut it totally off. And here's where you can just trim, uh, trim up your side a little bit there if you haven't quite cut it uh, level. That's it. And then we want to sharpen these here, this one, this one and this one by an inch. So I'm just going to uh, get my smaller guillotine and I'm just going to cut off. If you fold those in you'll find it easier. I'm just going to cut off here. Come on. Getting stuck. An inch. This is to make your pocket. One. I'm doing it right here and then and then that one this one here which is at the bottom you three at the bottom you cut that one off I'll show you in a minute and you'll see what I've done well can't slip it in 
There we go. So I'll measure, took them under and it's easier. An inch and just cut it off. And then this one here on the left hand side, just this one wants to be cut off at an inch. So that's all then. So now I'll show you what, uh, what we're left with. So if we spread it out now, you can see what we've done. Right, this is the top, this part, and we cut those two off completely. We cut the spine on each one down, right to this, these two uh, centre score lines. And then we cut an inch off this one, and an inch off this one, and an inch off this. Now it's up to you, you could do that that way, it's entirely up to you. Now what we want to end up with is three pockets that fold in. So I'm going to now burnish all my score marks. Make sure that the level. Now you can see where it's coming to, like that. I'm just going to get all these scored, they're burnished, like this. Make sure they're all nice and level. And then we're going to do the centre bit where these little um, spines are. Bit fiddly, but just take your time and you'll do it. I might be better doing these before I um, cut off the uh, sides, but never mind, we'll, uh, we'll get there. There, and last one, last one. Hold it over, that's it, get to the line, the score line, there we go. Right, so now you can see what's going to happen, like that, and then it will fold up, like that, up to there, and then this will come over, and it will be fastened with um, Velcro. Now I just need to get my um, corner rounder and a little one inch um, circle because this is what we're going to do. To make it easier for the coins to come out, we're just going to put this these little uh, side pieces, what's going to be our pockets, we're just going to give it a thumb um, holder so we can get our coins out easier. Just with an inch um, circular punch. Just a minute, empty that out. You don't have to do that, but it does make it easier. And now we're going to round the corners, make it uh, look nicer. Properly. Just see these little touches make them look look nice. Come on. There we go. Last one. Oh, I think that it doesn't go right in. That's it. Right, we'll move them to one side. And now we need to do a little bit of gluing. All we want to do is just put a thin line down each side here, just a thin one. And as usual, the glue clogs up when you've only just used it two, two minutes ago. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's have a look. Come on. Dear, oh dear. No, it's not going to do it. Uh, right. Where's that one? Let's have a look at this one. See if this will uh, come out. Yeah, just a thin line. Just at the side like this. And stick it 
down. So let me get, uh, yeah. And just stick it down. Hold it a couple of minutes till it sticks. And then same with this one. Don't come too far in, else you'll not get your uh, coins in. People are out mowing the grass. Hubby's out cleaning the car. And I thought, right, jeans in the craft room. I haven't had opportunity while family's been here. Right, and so, at that level. Um, hang on a minute, I'm <laughs> stuck. Right, so here we go. That's it. Now, I'll just pop these coins in just to, just to show you. And these I've cut out with a, a die, and it's two and a half inch. And that's, if you're doing an ATC card, it's two and a half by three and a half, two and a half by three and a half. But the coins are two and a half, and they just slot in here like this. And then you start to fold. And at first, you'll have to manoeuvre it a little bit so that it learns to get into the into the uh, score lines. That's it. And then this one comes over like that. And we're ready to put our Velcro on. It's a little bit skewy with that. It must be my... Uh, that's it. That's better. There we go. So now we'll put uh, these little uh, Velcro coins on. Just to hold it. Give okay, it a minute. It's got the wrong one here. Right. Is there two together there? Let me have a look. Yeah, that one, I think, and that one. Yeah, them two. Oh, they are sticky. <laughs> you get stuck up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one at each end. Oh, my goodness. Just pop it on like that and get your next one. Pop that on the same, the other side. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Like that. And then, I can get it off my finger. Oh, goodness me. Oof. And then just fold it over and get it to the position you want it to be and just... Press it down, press it down quite hard and then it will stick and then you can go about and decorate it how you want to. I'm just going to take that little bit off there because I don't like it protruding that much. So just trim them up if you're not, uh, you know, get it to how you want. So then when you open it, then you've got your folder holder. So I hope you like that. I hope you have a go. And uh, it looks a bit complicated but it isn't. Just take it step by step and you can decorate it uh, and do what you want with it. You can make it your own theme and, uh, and just enjoy it. Right, so then there's going to be a giveaway as I said. There will be some ATC coins in. Uh, one of them's already decorated, um, so I think we'll give that one away. Or shall we? Yeah, we'll give that one away. And I will add you um, three more plain coins, so like I say, you can have a go yourself. So to win this, you've got to be a subscriber. Uh, you've got to be over 18 to enter. And um, if you'd give me a like, I'd be very grateful and comment and share. Uh, and what you have to tell me is, um, what bird lays its egg 
in another bird's nest so that bird can bring it up as, it own, as its own. So what day are we today? Um, we Tuesday. I will pull the winner. No, not Saturday because I've got uh, our viewers coming for another look. Um, let's give it while Sunday. Yeah, we'll give it while Sunday. And uh, and so what you have to do, if you remember, is um, like, subscribe, share and um, and tell me which bird lays its nest in another bird's nest. And that's it for now, folks. So I will be back uh, later. And uh, in the, this is Open Wild Sunday. So God bless and thank you for watching and love to you all. Bye.